Surrounded by cameras, Allison Mack made her way into a Brooklyn courthouse where she tearfully pleaded guilty to racketeering charges for her role in a sensational case involving a group whose leader has been accused of sex trafficking. I can't form a rapport with my audience. That's Keith Ranieri, the head of Nexium, which billed itself as a self-help group. He's explaining his philosophy on acting to Mac, who previously starred in the show Smallville. Her role in Nexium was much different. It's the most challenging thing I've ever done because she was part of its secretive people, inner sorority, in which, according to prosecutors, totally was part pyramid scheme, part sex cult. It was that segment of Nexium that was the focus of an FBI investigation and a CBC podcast. Many of them were branded on their body in a very painful uh, ritual. And then, of course, these allegations that some of those women were being asked to perform free labor and also have these sexual encounters with Keith Raniere. There's a lot of embarrassment, a lot of regret. Sarah Edmondson, whose story was told throughout the podcast, set up Nexium's Vancouver chapter. It's not okay to carve someone else's initials into someone else's flesh. But she left the group after being branded. I'm glad that nobody else is getting into this. because Gabrielle Gendron wasn't part of Nexium's inner circle, but she did pay thousands to take its courses and knew Mac well. I'm grateful she took ownership of the wrong choices she made. Um, she did The choices she made didn't negatively affect a lot of other people. And... Um, I think that must have been hard for her to really grasp that reality. Do they comment on your guilty plea? So much has already been said about Nexium, but there will be more. Three of its key players are slated to stand trial at the end of this month, which will give more insight into the group's inner workings. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.